It's time to fuck. Let's do this. Hello, people. My ox friends. It is time for more Heroes of Might and Magic. We're gonna fuck some shit up. Because we're Muter and we don't take no shit. I hope everybody enjoyed uh, New Year's thing that I did. That stuff, that was fun. Uh, my brain is mostly back from that. You know, takes a few days, but whatever. I got 90 health apiece, huh? Perfect. Haha, <laughs> Morgana. Uh, you're welcome, German. It felt right, like, oh god, she's got no fucking... Did I even level you up, woman? Jesus. Lady, you are bad at your job. I must have struggled really hard. The last one. And he's gonna come in here and slap him and... Make me feel bad about it. I didn't do that. And I'm just all whipping on these guys, because it's all I got. Uh. Yeah, okay. Well, we kept it to only losing troglodytes. Which isn't bad. You know, it's kind of like, eh, well, we'll get those back. No, I'm just recovering still somewhat. I'm still slightly sleepy. It is what it is. I also did a small workout this morning, so I'm sore. I'm like, uh... No, I'm fine. I am otherwise fine. Thank you for asking. It's very kind of you. Gosh, she's got no knowledge. She, this is the dumbest bitch in the underworld. <laughs> this is fucking... How smart is Mutare? Nah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I kept the charm of mana. No, I didn't. You wanna know where that's it? that is? Not here. That's that's a level back. That is one level back and not in my possession, woman. I kept the charm of mana. It's just a rock that she's holding, like, ooh, charm of mana. It's not. It's not at all. Uh, she's at enchantment. That's the level she's at. She's like, enchantment. Mutair is not a smart lady. <laughs> we have chosen poorly. <laughs> yeah, Alright, let's see. What can we get before everything goes to doo-doo? Because you, you starve really fast. Starve, starve is economic starve in this game. Uh, like you would imagine in most strategy games. Yes, we cannot find Lord Kamam and Proet's forces. Kamam and Proet. Yes. Alright, uh, I still don't really want to move her that much, because she is still just so butts weak. It's like, not good. Okay, we'll look that way, just so nobody comes up on us, and we'll go shoot some zombies in the mouth. She's great Glack, but like, not even good at that. <laughs> I remember her being better. I've had way better runs with her, I guess. Like, way better runs. And, uh, right now my brain's just like, Did you really fuck this up? And my, my other brain is kind of like, Yo, I'm gonna fuck this up. <laughs> it's just like, Oh, Rob. The fuck? <laughs> you idiot. I'm like, Yeah, sorry, other Rob. 
you catch the uh, Barry, other Barry joke in there, congratulations. I'm proud of you. We'll, uh, we'll do better harpies for starters because that turns them into a vastly more useful unit. And then we're just going to have her march on forth and start whipping folk. Start whipping folk! There we go. Can she, uh, can she take this on? Can she take this on without pissing me off? <laughs> uh, you, no. You, there. Oh. Ah. Okay, well, they can, they can stay there. They can slow the fuck down. Zap. Crackle pop. And dead. Yeah, she's at it she's at the level of enchantment. So that's that's all I'll say on that. Sniffly. Got that sinus drainage in the morning. It's lovely. I love it. All right, time to move her out. Dank Rock. We're going to go check out Dank Rock, which sounds like a place I'd hang out. <laughs> Yo, y'all want you all want to go to Dank Rock? Heard they got some Dank Rock. It's like subterranean weed. Dank Rock. Yeah, you be wiser for fuck's sake. should probably get this. Uh, let's see. Oh, big yawns. Still waking up, ladies and gents. Even Griglack would call this lady dumb. Griglack would, like, be dumb more successfully. That's what it is. Griglack's still stupid, but Griglack, stupid better. That's castle number two. We'll just start hooking this one up. And we'll probably just take these guys so we have a nice little buffer. So the last time we played this, I moved what was to me clearly too slow. Like, vastly too slow. And I think that's what really cost me. Uh, in previous endeavors on this level. Yeah, of course. I need their money. That's why I'm here. I need the Dwarven money. Money, money, money. That should do that. There's enough of them gone. There we go. Then we'll just hasten these boys to take out that, mostly. These are the expendable unit, that's the thing. Like you can afford to use some of them up. Meet the heavy video. Some say they are smarter than me. Maybe. Maybe. I've yet to meet man smarter than sword! Yeah, for real. Necklace of Swiftness. This is a good item. That's going to make everybody go further and faster and also increase our uh, movement range. So that's, uh, that's good. Uh, good news. Several days ago, scouts spotted Lord Calmum's green band of troops at a castle called Fetid Cavern. Doesn't sound like a fun place. From Gloom Lake. Who's naming these? Like just some guy's like super depressed. Like, oh, fuck it. Gloom Lake. Uh Fetid Cavern. Uh Like, Jesus. Get over yourself, fucking Hamlet. 
Hey, you live in a, you live in a tunnel. Fuck off. <laughs> now let's get that mana vortex, because otherwise she is just fucking useless for magic without it. Will I search graves? Yep. Will I take tactics? You betcha. And money. Oh, you betcha, don't you know? Hope you're all well today. Today, the Master of Scouts reported a strange border god who will only let one pass with a charm of mana that I don't have. The scouts say the border god is located through the subterranean gate near No Quarter Castle. I guess I won't have to hang the seer after all. Well, hang him anyway, because we didn't get the charm of mana, so, uh, oops. Who names a city No Quarter? That's what I want to know. Like, what's the name of you? Where do you come from? No Quarter! <laughs> <laughs> Just screaming it. Uh, stupid. <laughs> stupid. We'll save that money, I suppose. We'll keep going this way. Oh, look. Magic. Now, don't be afraid, lady. It's just magic. It can't hurt you unless it's a lightning bolt. Then it can probably hurt you. Avoid that. Yeah, we're literally starving to death, economy-wise, right now, so we're like, uh, must strive for gold things. Oh, that's a harpy area. We'll get some of those. Uh, let's see here. City Hall needs a blacksmith? No, we'll do mushroom rings there. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> a good lick or a, b or a bad kick. I like that. That's funny. That's funny. I'm going to start saying that. That's great. I know a lot of women that need a fucking good lick or a bad kick. Talk about half the women in the United States. These dumb fucking... <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, got spicy. I do know a lot of people that have never had a good lick. It's sad. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, you poor thing. Be my advice to, like, guys becoming sexually active. Like, learn how to do more than shit for yourself. <laughs> like, don't be stupid. Met too many people that got stories of guys being stupid. <laughs> Don't be dumb. It's that easy. Alright, so we saw that green had already made their way over here. Hi, Wendell. Yeah, you're a fuzzy boy. You make me happy. You're a sweet fuzzy boy. Yeah. Hi. A main man. A main coon. Uh, day six. If we get the pillar and we get the chapel in these next two days, that'd be really good for us. Because then we can get more troops. Hello, boy. All right, buddy. You are you are gonna have to no stop it. Okay. That is in front of the screen, window. And your tail is adorable. Now I'm going to pick you up like you're a barbell. And carry you gently into my lap. There we go. Yeah, who's a snuggled boy now? Oh my gosh, you are so snuggled. He's just like, I don't know what to do with all these fucking snuggles. Oh, he, he's being pet. He's being literally held. Like a babby. I am holding him like he is Babby. Yeah. Are you my Babby? He's like, yes. If it means I get petted more, yes. Continue. Human. 
Human slave, continue. Pets are required by law. God, you are so adorable, Wendell. It's infuriating. There, we get those guys leveled up. This motor be rumbling, yo. Yeah, we need to get her down here. I probably should have stuck a unit or two in here, let's be honest, but... Meh. I'm hoping he just splits the force, or... Oh, he's even dumber than that. Nice, he didn't follow the road. Yeah, if they are smart enough to have allied, blah, 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 blah. Ally this, blade hand, I play him. Hi. Hi. Oh, dude, that's awesome. I love pet sitting, because, like, all I would... So, this isn't, like, all I would ever do, but, like, what I would do, and I was pet sitting when I was younger for, like, family, friends, and stuff... I'd just, like, go over and turn on the TV, and I'd be, like, watching, like, whatever I wanted on TV, uh, and just hanging out, like, eating chips, not being bothered for hours. It was amazing. I was just like, you mean I can just sit here and eat chips and not give a fuck for, like, X hours? It's like, yeah. It's like, fuck yeah. The best feeling in the world, like eating some goddamn chips and just sitting and petting cats and dogs and not giving a fuck. This guy is like trapped now. He's like, I have made a grave error. And I'm going to be like, yeah, you did. <laughs> a glorious victory for flavor in combat. Just completely defeated. I want to watch him die. Oh, no, never mind. I was like, I want to watch him die. Continues to press the wrong button immediately. Wendell, come back. I love you. Oh, you're licking your butt. Never mind. Stay over there for a minute. Finish licking your ass, then come back. Wow, they didn't even get a chance. That's great. Normally you can't get that with ranged creatures, but I had a hope that I could, so I did. Look at, lo and behold. <laughs> lo and beholder? Oh, oh, oh. Actually, those are evil eyes once they're upgraded, aren't they? Yeah. <sighs> oh. I was wrong. Excuse me. We're going to leave these troops here, actually. Because eventually we'll need a second hero to come up and, like, do things. Let's see. We should probably finish making this functional. Ooh, I had to kill a scout today. He was whining about being out number two to one. I overheard him talking. My form was excellent. Clean beehead. Blah, 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 blah. I've already read these. I, re I remember reading these in my brief fugue state of the uh, the thing that we did on New Year's. It's called a marathon. <laughs> that thing with the stuff. Would you guys stop it? Stop probing me. Uh, they're probing me for weaknesses. You, you get back here, asshole. I'm not done with you. Uh, we'll get the Battle Scholar Academy going down here. Because we'll hire a guy here and have him take everything and move upward toward the next town. She's got pathfinding, so she ought to be able to catch up to this guy quick enough. Uh, we'll get the Battle Scholar Academy there, and the next thing to do here would be Portal of Summoning, so that you can pull extra units. And as long as we kind of, like, have somebody moving by the end of the week, that's not a bad deal. Ah, yes, Bordo God. Let's see, we'll look around. Might have missed him, that would be bad, frankly. If I didn't miss him, I'd be like, oof. See, we got those harpies twice now. So that's like just literally double 
hired units two times from the same structure in a week. On top of, I could still go there physically with a unit, which is also a pretty big deal. So let's at least get a guy in here. Uh, good enough. It's like, hey, it's this or nothing. And it's like, well, when you put it that way, I guess I'll take, I guess I'll take good enough. <laughs> Well, you seem to leave me no choice. And then he can't do another damn thing because he is old and fat and bad at his job. It's like, ah, yes, I am a minotaur, but I am very, very sleepy. I'm a very sleepy minotaur, you see. Very bad at all this shit. Ah, I see somebody. Time to assault them. <laughs> Time to commit assault. Remember, it's not a crime if it's a war crime. I don't, I have no idea what I meant by that. Look, point is, I'm a war crime this ass. Yep. Oh, you had stuff for me too? Cool. Thank you. Ah, Dendroids, the slowest motherfuckers on earth. Here, I'm gonna show you how to do this, troglodytes. Watch. Not you. You people aren't the troglodytes. My literal troglodytes. What do you mean, you people? Ah. Look, you, you wait, and then harpies go and stab them with knives, and then they go do it again. And look, all you guys have to do is pick your non-existent eyeballs. Just stand there and fucking not die. Is that too much for them? Yeah. Troglodytes. Fucking assholes. No eyes. Fucking weird ass tails and shit. Gross. <laughs> Dummies. Ah, uh, yes. Another another instance of troglodytes being troglodytes. Doot, doot. And then, because they waited, we'll make them go first now. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Boop. And dead. Hey. Got him. Do I want mana cores? Yeah, sure, why not? They fly and kill shit. Sounds like a plan to me. Day six. Hire more troglodytes. Run. Run this way. Run. When did we get Skeletor as a second hero? This isn't Skeletor, he's Dace. Dace was born into a warrior clan, learning to fight from masters who seemed older than time. He provides Nyon with exceptional leadership, especially when commanding other minotaurs. Apparently uses, like, Psy for a weapon instead of an axe. What kind of minotaur is he? He's like, I prefer ninja weapons! And they're all looking at him like, the fuck is a ninja? Like, were you smoking fucking dank rock again? We told you to stop smoking the dank rock! We'll just kind of pop, pop in here and be like, oh, what's around here? Ooh, look, a pillar. And then as soon as we know what's here, we'll run away so that nobody can attack us. Through there, I mean. Because that would be bad. We wouldn't want that. You know what the worst place to get attacked is? Through the hole in the middle of your fucking forces. Yeah, not great. We're gonna buy that castle so that we can make a capital eventually. For the sake of, you know, having stuff. Hey, look, you guys. Stay away from me. Give me that. Oh, yes. Oh! Oh! All we have to get, do is get past these fucking horrible vampires. 
Okay, so I can still get that. I need that shit. You want to know what I can't get? Any of that awesome shit there. Poop. Because he wants the charm of mana. And we're like, uh, we, we don't have it. And it's like, well, dick diddly. Fuck. Mm, we're going to keep this one just kind of chilling. Because we're going to have to, like, splurge on units again. Do I want to fight flying vampire evil lord people? No. No, I think not. The Moo Reaper? Yeah. Uh, you know what? That works for a name for him. It really does. I, I don't oppose it. <laughs> I don't see where you're wrong here, so yes. But now we can at least get gems to get that labyrinth, uh, which will be nice. Labyrinth. Murray Scouts located Ordwall Deep Cavern. Dragon Blood. Can't let finish here. Boop, boop, boop. Hmm, time to punch things. I am going to fist these guys. <laughs> I laugh because that's literally the attack that the Iron Golems do. They're just like, would you like to get fisted? I'm going to move him back down here. Actually, we're going to have him take this first. Can he learn Earthquake? Sometimes that's a useful spell. Not usually, but sometimes. Do you want to shoot the really slow guys? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, sit back and relax. Oh, how was everybody's New Year's? He said through a yawn. Sorry. <laughs> how was everybody's New Year's? I don't really give a shit. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, hope everybody had a good one. Stayed safe, beating butts, you know, whatever you need to do. And crumble. I cast fist like the muscle wizards. All along, Schwarzenegger was just a muscle wizard. That's canon now. That's Beeple canon. We alone are keepers of his secret. The muscle wizard. Oh, you got a lot of shit here. You ass. You colossal ass. That is a whole ass and a half of shit. Huh. Fuck that guy. <laughs> well, let's, uh, uh, dude, not enough money for that Capitol. Uh, that is faux show. Sure. And not gonna have enough if I buy stuff there. So, uh, we'll just not do that. Ah, yes, the imp cache is deserted. We're just gonna walk past this and see if they have a weaker castle somewhere. Like, hey, y'all got one of them not-as-fortified places where I can, like, just kind of push it in a little bit? Just a fucking smidgen? Yeah, we'll get, the, we'll get that. Because that's going to give us 4K instead of 2K. That's a big... It's a big swing. Uh, and then we'll blind them, which could help us. Buy us a little time to maneuver. Hey, Digi. People, people. Good to see people turning out for another uh, workaday stream. Or for the Europeans, uh, afternoon tea time. I don't, I don't know that it's like that. I just choose to believe. <laughs> I believe what I was programmed to believe. We'll, uh, we'll use this to get a good deal on a lot of extra resources right now. There we go. I will believe what I was programmed to believe. Which really just is a quote from Futurama that says a lot more now than it ever did then. Like, holy fuck. <laughs> Skelta! It's beer o'clock, dude. It's beer o'clock here. And by beer clock here, I mean it's 11.36 a.m., but, uh, you know, close enough, right? Still counts? Still counts? Bueller? Anybody? <laughs> you do you, baby. 
Oh, I'm I'm literally broke. Oopsie doodle. I'm like, huh, why can't I hire more you Oh. <laughs> uh this isn't as bad. We'll kill these guys. Oh, I only have the cost of my entire force of blind men. Got it. They're like peasants, but blind. <laughs> uh yikes. <laughs> Ow, 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 stop it, you heathens. Be awful. I hate you. So we cast this, we're gonna kinda be out a little bit. I really don't wanna do that. I wanna slow them down so they can't, like, whip on me from a distance. And we're just gonna. We're gonna put him in here to try to combat these. Well, they, they're going to sit there and focus fire on those, which sucks, frankly. Um, because that's not easy to replace. Now I'm losing those. They're sacrificial at this point, unfortunately. Mm, we need more of those dead faster. Nyon troops are super good from within a uh, castle wall. Like, just fucking brutal. Yeah, we lost that. But they're effectively disabled. We're gonna see if we can. Nope, don't even have enough for it. Fuck. These are taking me apart. Now the hope is that you can get them to like land on that bridge or something. Now I don't have enough mana for anything. Uh, well, we'll get rid of them at least. There we go. I'm going to wait and see if they'll come out. Defend. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Nasty losses. Worse than the losses I took uh, otherwise, to be honest. Like, far worse losses. Uh, that I took if I'd let the computer run it. Because I lost way more of my harpies. I still lost almost all of those. I lost the whole stack instead of half a stack. But oh well. Success, I suppose. So that limits greed to one castle at least as well. Which is not a joke. And she's got her mana mana back. And because she has this, she also has extra. So she's up to 80. That's actually a usable amount of Menomina. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> See, Grauman, you got me. You got me, baby. I'm actually... I'm going to take you with me as I wander the house briefly. Because I want hot chalky. So I'm going to walk around and get some hot cocoa. <sighs> I had a kettle on.
do is I just put a kettle on and I've got like a powdered hot cocoa. That's good enough for me. Use that Swiss Miss brand. It's not bad. I like it. I like Swiss Miss. So I take that and I make a 32 ounce uh, bottle of it. Same as my 32 ounce. Uh, this is not the prelude to an R rated movie premiere. This is the prelude to my OnlyFans premiere. Um, yeah, don't get it twisted. I don't do R-rated. I do X-rated. <laughs> but, um, anyway. So, yeah. 32 ounces of hot cocoa. See, now I'm making it weird. Too bad. <laughs> anyway. So, hot cocoa has been achieved. Achieved and acquired. But I take it, and I'll drink, like, half, and then I put, uh, liquor 43, either whiskey or rum, and, uh, oh, what is it? Usually some vanilla, just some pure vanilla, back into it to, like, fill it back up. Rob is selling soup. <laughs> I don't even remember that one. Oh, hang on one sec. Uh, let's see here. But yeah. Oh, and you gotta put a little, uh... Yeah, it was pretty... Dude, I, I don't remember a lot of things that happened from the subathon. Oof. That one was rough. So they're gonna move around there for a bit. While I just proceed to hopefully take everything I can from them. You know what, that's good enough. For 4K, that's good enough. Because that ought to be enough for us to, yep, yep, right there. Get them, get them, get them. That's good, that's good news. That's good news, everyone. Those don't come more than once. They built this up really well already. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> wow, you guys did a great job renovating this place. It would be a shame if I fucking stole it. <laughs> Guess I haven't been there. But yeah, oh, and like I was saying, you gotta put a little bit of, like, pure vanilla heavy coffee creamer in there, so that's what I do. I'm like, oh yeah. Gotta get that good stuff. Well, it seems as though we're going to have to uh, defend ourselves from the enemy ruthlessly attacking us in, like, a turn. Hooray! This is about to fucking hurt. I don't know if she can beat that force that's headed this way. Just, I do not know. He can. It's only because he has two towns worth of shit for many days. Who is Iron Mouse, and why did she have to stream 24-7 for almost a month? Because that sounds very dumb and bad for your health. That sounds horrific. Sweet. I <laughs> say, so now we're, uh, we're going to pray that we don't die. And I don't think we're going to success be succeed in that prayer, but uh, here we go. Yeah, he's, he's just fucking, he's coming for it. It's like a great, yep. 
Well, we got him to flee. So we're going to see if I can do any better. This is just wacky numbers. Like, Jesus. First things first, I guess, slow them down. That's already a loss. That's a loss. You can't take that damage. Like, you can't. You can't do that. You can't take that damage. I might just let the AI do this. Because I don't know fucking how. I don't know how, the, how it's doing it. I have no idea how this happened. I have no clue. So we're just gonna, boop. We're just gonna fucking take it. Like, okay. Apparently I am so strategically genius that uh, I made that happen just from the setup. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna fucking tell myself. Oh yeah, we've thought about doing that. We've thought about, do we've thought about doing that to me where each sub would extend the timer. If it was, well, like, for a subathon. Yeah, well, we did that, actually. Like, originally we did that. We had a hard cutoff, and we reached, remember, we reached the hard cutoff in, like, fucking 20 minutes for some ridiculous shit. Where it was like, ah, oh, yeah, subathon. Keep Rob up. And, and uh, boy, howdy, did we get there. <laughs> it was fun. Don't get me wrong. I, I asked for it. I wasn't I wasn't pressured into this. I wasn't under duress at all. <laughs> Blinks at camera in Morse code. <laughs> Kidding. Oh, tiniest baby. I felt you. Where'd you go? Oh, I hear you. That's a girl. That's a baby girl. This little baby cat, Cleo. This little like How old are you now? You're 4. I love you. I love her more than all humans except Liam. Like, I love her more than everyone. She's the most perfect little thing that has ever existed. You cannot convince me otherwise. It would be impossible. Blue Gent, I learned a lesson in sub goals. I mean, we hit the goals real fast, and it was like, all right, cut off reached, overflow time, and then you got a marathon on Christmas and New Year's, so you're welcome. <laughs> so that's how that worked. Let's see. We're starting to actually generate resources, so uh, that's good news. Which means we can... Castle... Castle... Castle. Good. We're going to put a... I really should have been saving that, but... Is this visited? No, we'll get another... Another K! See, Tan's going to be our problem now, because these guys are moving around a lot, and we don't like that. Not one bit. But they're weakened. And they, they've only got, like, the one fucking castle left. Because I happen to know that they have two castles. I had played this one enough at this point, because we had to restart it so many times, that I know that they only have two. Mmm. <sighs> is this left pretty weak right now? Because if it is, that's a good thing. Well, for me, not him. I say, if it's weak right now, he's fucked. <laughs> How did you wander off, eh? Be a shame if somebody came and pounded that ass. Which we're gonna do now. Oh, apply the battle result. 
No, I'll do this one. See, this is like way less units too. That's the crazy thing. It's like, shouldn't this be easier? You got four of these motherfuckers and they hurt. God, they hurt like crazy. Start combat, get shot. Ever have a scout espion for knowing this? Yeah, there's a total, there's a complete system for it, German. You just never see me engage with it at all. <laughs> It's uh, things like View Air and View Earth for like looking for them. There's like the Thieves Guilds have been a part of it since like the second game. It's it's all there. It really is actually. You've just never seen me have the patience to do anything about it. <laughs> if we're perfectly honest, Rob's just fucking lazy. <laughs> now we're gonna get rid of these. Hi, baby. Oh, she's got her head resting on my, like, little trail mix bag that I've got here as a snack. And her snoot is booped onto the screen. And then she's got the rest of her on her little, like, blankie pillow that I set up. Well, now's a perfect time to play these, tired gent. You've uh, you've seen a master at work. <laughs> don't take, don't don't quote that. It's it's a lie. <laughs> hey, want to know what a lie looks like? <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh, they're dead. Stop it, lady. She's like, you know what would be really funny if I just kept casting Lightning Bolt on all your shit? I'm like, you know what? That's not funny. She's like, too bad! Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Yeah. Advanced Pathfinding. That's good. We like that. We like that. We like that. We like all that. And we'll uh, get that Mana Vortex back so that she can refill. And it seems as though we bled them dry, which didn't happen to us the first time. And uh, green's now on the back foot. Like I said, I know for a fact that we've bled all their castles, and they have one hero left here. Oh, Darkstorm, hey, it's you again. About to kick that ass. Hey, Darkstorm, guess what? You fought for the wrong side, motherfucker. We'll just load this guy up, because now he's going to, like, take the brunt of a huge attack from Tan literally any turn. It's going to be like, they're coming. Because you haven't seen them. It's like, well, if, if they're nowhere to be found, that means they're just waiting and buying time. And that's not great. <laughs> and we don't like that. Fair. I'm glad you like to watch at least then, because it's good to have you here, Dudorino. My dude. Uh, I should probably just send him. That might not have been the smartest maneuver. This guy's gonna die though. <laughs> hey, you gonna die? Oh, this one had a Manticore Lair, okay. I received word from General Mia today, and the word is out along the Nyon borderlands that Ordwald, Kamen, Pruitt, and myself are after the Vile, but no one knows where we are. Mayas repulsed numerous probes and several recons in force from other border lords. They're not trying to take land, he says, looking for information. Yeah, well, you died with a whimper. Like, uh... Some general from Paraguay. Somebody will get that joke. I don't know who, but somebody. One, one of you will understand that. Hi, Duck Mad. Well, how
Oh. One of the earliest English speaking VTubers. Community re up the time, but streaming that long wasn't as difficult as her medical news had left her mostly bedroom. Oof. Oof, that sounds awful. Yeah, no, anytime I do a marathon, I have to, like, medic meticulously plan, like, around the fact that I have a son to be a father to, and it makes it hard, so. I can only do so much. Oh, that's not good. Hey, look who's invading. Wait, where did you fucking come from? I swear they only had two. That's not good. Well, we're gonna keep chasing this guy. I guess. Gunnar. We don't like him. <sighs> well, we gotta get back here. We don't have the... What? Oh, that. Mercury. No, Mercury! Boo. Portal of Summoning. Yeah, that's awesome. I was hoping we'd get that. Oh, he's still looking around, because he's never been there. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck! How many heroes did he fucking have? I guess we're gonna have to hire a lady. We need something to defend it, hopefully. What does she even have? Where are these guys coming from? I say our best units are the fucking castle walls isn't exactly a great situation to have. Ugh, gross. Green player, I hate you. I hate you so much. You smell. Love, Rob. These fucking cavern maps, god damn. They fuck with me so hard. She's going to catch him and run him down, but then sh this is going to be vulnerable, and they're up there doing shit. Ugh, gross. There's a lot of gross twisting around back and forth on each other. 15 seconds and still almost lasted a month? Man, I'd love to be that popular. <laughs> That'd be fucking fantastic. Could you imagine? That's a lot of money. I would, but I wouldn't, if we're honest. That would that'd be like, it'd be crazy, but it'd also be like, oof. It's a full-time job. That's more than a full-time job. That's just like every moment of your waking existence at that point. Mm, yikes. Let's get that. At least make this a useful unit as well if we can oh I already built today I'm like why can't I do that and then I realized what I was missing yeah they're trying to revamp from there but I'm gonna catch him Fled, I don't want him to flee. I want him to die. <clears throat> oh, that actually killed a guy. <laughs> Weak.
Good thing they're slow. All right, so we gotta look in here. We'll build that labyrinth and hire them there. But uh, where'd that hero go? Ah, there he is. He's just gonna like sit in that corner. We'll let him sit in that corner for the moment, at least. We'll hire these. More just dissuading forces, really. He's kind of just anchoring that middle, and now if we can get if if we look unappealing, he's just gonna go north and fight with green, and that's pretty hilarious. Cause that would be that would be excellent. That would be super excellent for me. You know what that'd be? Fucking super. Super duper. At least she's still building, like, units as well. Not a lot, and not well, but we're still pulling them in. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna make use of what we have gained to get her another, well, really her only feasible melee unit right now is that. And then we're going to send her north to take that back and sweep left. Yeah, they might fight each other now, and that would be just fucking peachy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, Tired German, there's a lot of people, like my age, who still have to live with their parents in the United States because it's so unaffordable to live here. It's like super not cheap to live in the United States, and its wages are really low, and shit kind of sucks. I don't live with mine, but I've, I got a house, but I'm also a five-year engineer with over a decade of experience. I'm lucky. Well, Mr. Brushface, I'm glad that you're here to follow this one. I used to I used to watch a lot. I used to watch a lot of uh, just YouTube and Twitch in general. Then I stopped. <laughs> and now I don't. <laughs> that that ended. I certainly never wanted to anymore. I was just like, eh, I don't care anymore. So I just did away with it. They're just gonna be if they're just gonna be up there harassing each other, excellent. Fucking excellent. Hey Grim. My uh I've got a Lovely, and then by lovely, I mean awful story. Yeah, dude. I was, I, I was, I left the auto industry making six figures, but I was so miserable I couldn't take it. I'll, I'll freely offer that information because I also believe in like collective bargaining and stuff. I think that's really important for people to get their fair share. Um, that's why, like, when people are like, "Don't talk about your salary," especially when they get the company, I'm like, <laughs> "That's the dumbest thing. That's like a myth." 
that's a stupid ass me like i'm not gonna tell you exactly and i'm gonna tell you it's all gone i am no longer that well off like don't 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 think you can get anything out of me that's blood from a stone motherfucker but like at the same time labor here is super low value feels like it at least I came out of college with a job uh, at a casting foundry because I was a trained metallurgist and I had a job in quality inspection for this foundry it was you know looked like it was gonna be a pretty good job they lied to me about the location I would be at. They lied to me about who my mentor would be. Uh, I never worked in the building they told me I'd work at. I never worked on the product they told me I'd work on. Um, I proceeded to basically flounder there for three months under a supervisor who really was a, just a young guy like me. Like only not even a decade older than me awful fucking manager just a fucking shithead uh gave me these garbage projects that he didn't feel like doing i hated it i was so tired of it by the time i got out of there and uh yeah i was i ended up moving back home for a little while and i ended up working at a radio shack before i ended up uh going to the auto industry and working both of those jobs at the same time to get myself back on my feet and pay my loans. Which was 150000 USD in loans that I paid back in two years. If you can imagine how much... Uh, and living out of my parents' house to do so. Because um, I couldn't do it if it weren't for them. Yeah. Grim. grim. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Big oof. Um, yeah, it was a lot. It was a whole fucking lot. I got good parents. Well, I got more than good parents. I got I got good fam, for the most part. I fight with my parents a lot. They're old school boomers, so, like, they say some shit that is not okay, and I will not repeat on stream. Uh, but they're misguided. They're very misguided people. I'll say it that way. You know, they're not... They're not horrible, they're just uneducated in a lot of ways. Or on a lot of things, on a lot of topics and issues, I should say. They're not bad folk. Just close-minded. But they, uh... I, I was moved away completely, working this job for three months and everything. And, uh... Doing, living my life, and I was not having a good time there. So I was like, man, this sucks. Because this isn't even what I want to do with my life. And I had intended, the original intention was to go to this place, go be a metallurgist under the guy that I agreed to work under, that I signed the contract with. Yeah, no, they're good like that, German. They're they're good like that. You know, we'll 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 give them that for sure. We'll give them that one for sure. And for all these streams and stuff, the person who's usually here is my mom. Like, whenever I do a big stream and, like, Liam's around, like, like the New Year's Eve and stuff, she was here. So we couldn't have had that without her. And she's, she's, she's great. But, um... Oh, excuse me. God, the sniffles in Michigan, man, just kills me. Um... But yeah, it was just, it was intense. It's super intense. Going from like, hey, we're going to make you, this guy was going to retire. And it was like, oh, five years from now, you'll have like five years to mentor with him. And then he's going to retire and you're going to be the new like head of uh, quality for like this shop. I was like, badass. That's like what I want. That's what I want to do here. And they fucking hung me out to dry so hard. Oh, it sucked. This guy's gonna die now. I want to do this in person. I'm not gonna... We'll take him apart by hand. Give him what he deserves. Our guys are also all, uh, have a plus one of speed, so that's nice. 
Oh no, it was a. I found out after the fact that like this company was really shitty and predatory. So like they put on this really good face. Uh. They put on this really good face, like at the career fairs and stuff. Because we had these massive career fairs. I went to one of the best engineering schools in the United States. Um, and one of the hardest. So it was really prestigious. So it wasn't MIT. So you can you can dispel with that. But uh, it was it was a very good one though. Now, I've said that before. I got accepted to MIT, but I didn't go there. That's that's somewhere in the VODs. It's not like it's a secret. But, um... Yeah, they... They seemed like they were... All had their shit together, and, like, it was gonna be this really good place, and, like, this guy was really wholesome, and, like, he and his wife would come up to the career fair together, and they, like, took me out to dinner and stuff. You know, I'm, like, a college kid, and I'm like, are you gonna buy me a steak dinner? Fuck yeah. Mia reports the Border Lords have changed tactics. They are flooding the area with scouts. He has caught dozens of them, but thinks it is just a matter of time before they discover my base of operations. Apparently, Kamem and Pruitt lands are being overrun. Maybe I'll send condolences. <laughs> nah. Yeah, recruiting for a cult, that's right. Um, and all the all of American auto industry is cult. It's all a cult of personality, cultish like behavior. They they teach you to worship at worship at the feet of the brand is what it is, and that's kind of like my own little twist on it. It's like worship at the feet of the logo, and they do. Like if you go on YouTube and search like a uh, Chrysler event, like Chrysler Technical Center events, just like search that, you'll see some just dumb stupid ass shit like absolutely stupid like they we had like eminem perform or some shit yeah like fucking at the company like it's like what is this supposed to be for morale i was like i got a meeting i can't go to this fuck you you know <laughs> Uh, yeah, because you're expendable, because you're a number. Almost everywhere you're a number. Because you, you, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't register with them in the grand scheme of things. You'll have good bosses on, like, a micro level and stuff, but you, and they'll be able to do things for you on, like, the small scale. But you won't, you won't get you won't get a lot out of anybody at the on the grand scale. Just you, buddy. Just you, because I'm seeing it up and I have zero drop frames. Which I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why I'd respond because if it's frozen, you probably can't hear me. But hey, everybody else can help. <laughs> Yeah, man, I went I went to that casting company, and, and here's the thing, it was, like, in this little podunk area, and, like, it was, like, this was, like, the one of the big employers, like, you either worked on a farm or you worked here, and I was, like, oh, cool, not cool. They, uh, they could do what they wanted, because once they got you out there... You didn't have any options, really. Like, what were you going to fucking do? Leave? You were going to have to move away. So when I got done... I, after about three months, I had a meeting with them, and I was like, I quit. I'm done. This is bullshit. And, uh... I, I was. I was so done. I'm like, no. I'm not doing this anymore. And I moved back home. Like, I had to pack all my stuff up. I had to ditch my apartment. I had to move back home. Um, moved back in with my parents. And then I got sick for three months with, like, an extremely invasive virus. So that was fun. And uh, my mom had to take care of me for a while there. I was, I was like, bedridden. Like, I could not move. I could not move or work. Um, so that was some fun stuff. So 
Somebody is moving in on our territory. We don't like that. So we're going to have this guy take forces. He's already got them all. What are we looking at? I've met a so so because I was in the auto industry and they had the United Auto Workers. I dealt with union people a lot, and you get such a spectrum of people in that. Like, oh, I should have uh, I should have put units there. I should have put a lot of units here. That was unwise of me. Hey, he's just gonna kill it. I'll have to hire things for this castle and do an autosave. Yeah, we'll apply it. Um, UAW, I met a lot of people who would like, would go out of their way and like break the union not break the union rules but they do work they weren't supposed to just to help you get shit done like great great people and then i met a lot of people where they'd look at a job and they'd be like well that's not my job description so you can go fucking suck a dick and man you wanted to deck those people so hard in the fucking face you're not supposed to don't do that you'll get fired real quick but <laughs> but you wanted to boy howdy did you want to sometimes it sucks. It really sucks. That really sucks when you're just like, man, fuck you. And there was other times where I'd get people who'd report me for doing work that was supposed to be union work. Yeah, oh no. I've, uh, Lord Coffee Bum, you'd be shocked how many people won't press charges in the United States for shit like that. Um, it's disgusting. I know, I know a guy, trust me, this is not a friend of mine. <laughs> Believe me you're about to hear this i know a guy that was just like this horribly abusive dude like just total asshole you know he he's he'll get what's coming to him i'm sure one of these days but um this guy fucking just he got fired from a job for punching a dude in the face on site like just like just got mad because he could he had no chill, no control over his temper, punched some dude square in the fucking jaw, and because that was his response to getting angry, and he got fired, and nobody ever pressed charges. Uh, sometimes in America, you uh, losers pay for both sides in lawsuits and stuff. That does happen, so. It's just a mess. Just things are crazy. The world's crazy. But yeah, I moved back home, and that's when I found my way. I stumbled headfirst in the auto industry, and I never wanted to do that. I was like, I never want to be in the auto industry because I hate cars. Cars bore me. Um, I ended up doing it anyway for nearly a decade because that's what I found when I came out of being real sick and stuff. I was like, man, I need a I need a job bad. That was all I was thinking about was, man, job would be nice. Is this guy back here, really? Come on. I just came from there. I need to levy her against Tan before they get too powerful. Because they're running around putting too many units in <laughs> Oh, paper industry, especially in, like, Wisconsin. Like, the paper industry polluted a whole fucking valley. It's awful. Worked rat, yeah. Nope, I would, I would, like I said, I would have people who'd be like, you can't do that. You're gonna, like, you're doing, you're doing union work. You're not allowed to do that. And I'd look at my boss and be like, I'm supposed to get this done. And he'd be like, just listen. Like it's not worth it. We got, and we were the we were the we were the white collar guys. We were directing these teams. Like we were technically the managers of these people. And, and I'd have 
you know, like I said, I had great people. I had a lady I worked with, Laura. Ah, uh, best fucking worker ever. End statement. She was fucking great. Laura, Laura was a badass. Um, you couldn't get a damn thing past that woman. Nor would you try, unless you were real stupid. And she would just, she would work herself down if you needed something. Like, to the bone. Almost. Man, we lost more of them than I would have liked. Um. But she was amazing. And she was she was never the kind of person to go, like, that's not my job description. Unless she didn't like you, then she'd do that. But you'd have to really piss her off. Because we'd also have engineers who'd come in and be like, I know better than you because I went to college. And, uh. Those people, those people, surprisingly, they, it's not that they don't last long. They, they last a very long time in those industries and those companies because they're assholes and they know how to play the game. And it's a shame that they, knowing how to play the game, uh, comes with benefits like keeping your dick ass around sometimes. You know, or the, one of the things that, like, the real snobby kids who, like, made it into, like, the fast track to management. We actually had fast track to management programs. We didn't call it that. It was, like, the College of Engineering, like, it was, it was like, the engineering, like, success program. Like, oh, you were a collegiate success, so you get, like, extra benefits and this whole IDP and, like, all this extra shit. And man, they would pamper those kids. But if one of them was like an asshole, they just put him in a position that nobody wanted, and like let him kind of just be there. It, it was just a nobody, no name position. They just make him disappear, in a, like the bureaucracy. Like ah yes, that guy. Uh, he does. He leads the uh, fecal tickler fucking department. You know. He's Sergeant Feces processor now. Uh, they could be nepotism, but it was usually, like, they said it was, like, oh, the gifted programs. Like, oh, yes, these are for the gifted, not students anymore. These are for the gifted employees who've made a blah, 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 blah. Give me any contract worker, any day of, the, like, I was contract when I started there. Give me any contract kid chomping at the bit to fucking pay off his loans. Every day of the week over one of those fucking assholes. Every day of the week. Because the, the person who never got that chance will bend over backwards for you. And those privileged folks, they don't know a goddamn thing. I got a lot of cynicism. I got a lot of cynicism for uh, just the whole state of affairs up in here. Uh no, some of them were real gift. Some of them were real smart. I won't. I won't say that. I will say some of them were real, real smart. Um, don't mean that you're smart with people. Being smart don't make you smart with people. It takes a lot to be smart with people. Um, ain't a lot of people good at it. You know, the smarter you are with people, the more you can do. Being smart with people, you can go head and shoulder. You can get people, like I said, you can get people to bend over backwards for you if you're just smart with people. Know how to treat somebody? They will They will do anything you need them to do. It's called managing. I had a, I had a boss, my first boss at Chrysler Rich. I'd have done anything he needed me to do. My second boss at Chrysler, Martin, I'd have spit on his fucking grave. I hated that dude. But he was German, so go figure. Kidding. I'm kidding, German. I'm kidding. Yeah, you can do it that way, PPQ, or you could treat them like humans. 
You'd be shocked how much you can get out of somebody if you just show them some decency for the first time in their life. I know you're not. I know you're not endorsing that method, but there's a lot of people who think incorrectly about management and like how to function in that way. And it's a shame because it's unnecessary. Yeah, well, there ain't a PPQ. I get. I feel you. The the cynicism. I feel it. Like, trust me, I do. I haven't I haven't worked since April now. I I gotta find a way to get back into it, and I ain't looking forward to it. That's for damn sure. Because it is a miserable existence to be a wage slave. Even worse than that, salary. And I know that's like, what? Salary's bad? What are you talking about? You ever work yourself to the bone and just to realize that there is nothing you can do that they will pay you more for? That shit fucking blows. I'm trying to see if I can get this plague to not happen. But boy, howdy, it would be nice if we didn't have the plague come today. Let's see. Is it going to plague? Yeah, it's going to plague. Whatever. Can't stop it. A whale. Ugh, my nose. Stuffed. Not even sick. Just like, blah. Feel gross. Oh, excuse me. Oh, here's one of them spy things you were talking about. Gives you exact numbers of wandering monsters and tells you if they would be willing to join your hero. Allows you to veer and view a nearby enemy hero's primary skills, creature type, and quantity as if they were part of your kingdom, as well as nearby time stats, garrison creatures, and quantities. So, like, right-click on an enemy. Ah, I'm not close enough. I'll show you in a turn. When I find when I find something to use as an example, I'll show you. Yeah, there there's a lot of crazy, awful work in the United States, and it's just how it goes. It's just how it goes. It's like this is the way. There's not a lot of people that escape the game. And the people who escape the game, they'll tell you how stupid you are for like, no, it's not like that. It's like, okay. Okay, jackass. We got people, we have people in the Legion who talk that shit. We're like, it's not like that. You're just not working hard enough. You're not doing this. You're not doing that. It's not like that at all. It's like, all right. Cool. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Have I seen a UFO? No, Coffee Bum. I've never seen anything of the extraterrestrial uh, variety. I've never, I've never had a a strange experience of that sort myself. I wish that would be really interesting because I'm a skeptic. I'm like very, I'm a huge skeptic. I'm like massively a skeptic. So, like, I'd love to, <laughs> because I think that would be fascinating, but, uh, nope, can't say that I have. Which is unfortunate, because I think me and, like, you know, me and aliens would probably get along. Like, you like probing, I like probing, you want to hang out, you know, could be fun. Yeah, working more and harder is not the problem. Wages are. God, if, that's a really tough question, Tired German. I don't know. <laughs> I I uh, I might teach. I love teaching. I was a really good calculus and chemistry teacher. Cause I tutored. I tutored for money in high school and college. Um. Calculus 1, not like advanced calculus, and like fucking 
introductory chemistry. I'm not a genius. You know, I'm not that smart, but I'm a good teacher. I'm good at explaining how to do a thing. Uh, photography. I love photography. I love photography. It's always been like a closet hobby of mine. Just kind of like, I don't even have an outlet for it. I've just always had an interest in it. Yeah. Um, I might, I'm, if I, if it wasn't a concern, I may write. I have three book ideas on my desktop. One involving Tooch. Or Nephi, um, as he prefers to be called. Uh, yeah, that's a guy with a lot of units. Let's see. Portal. What can we get? Yeah, that's fine. Um, there's a lot of, like, I'd, I'd. If, if it wasn't a concern, I'd want to do a bunch of things. That's the thing. Because I have all these hobbies. Like, I'm sitting here streaming. If it wasn't a concern, I'd fucking stream. You know? Because I like to entertain. And I think that I'm not the worst at it. You know? I would, I would stream. I'd write. I'd, like, you know, pursue these, these fanciful things. I'd, I'd do photography and editing. Like... I'd do that kind of shit. Where it's like, oh yeah, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm writing a book and going to X country, like exotic place to like take pictures. And then I'll be entertaining a fan base and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, only fans. <laughs> Although I probably would. I uh, it, it doesn't come to a surprise to anybody. Grim, you can, you can throw that TOS up in now if you want. Um, it doesn't come as a surprise to anybody that I am rather liberal in that sense. <laughs> Y'all been here, you know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't make it lewd this time. It was sincere. I'm just sincerely lewd. Cocaine and Rob, sincerely lewd. Could be my book. <laughs> that would be my autobiography. Ooh, I had like a comedy album. Sincerely lewd. Tell you what, I wouldn't do comedy, that's for sure. I wouldn't do that. But no, I'd I'd do photography and like probably like boudoir type stuff and panoramics and scenery and I'd entertain and then I'd do like really I'd, I'd sit there and teach calculus I would sit there and teach calculus sincerely lewd since 92 baby we're gonna we're gonna try to beat the shit out of this guy hey deemer get fucked ugh <sighs> will overwhelm this side. Excuse me. That was gross. I'm aware of that. Tell you all, tell you what, didn't feel too great either. <laughs> That is true, PPQ. <clears throat> well, and the thing I want to do now, the thing that I am really, really hoping to make do in my life, is I want to get into, uh, what's it called? Um, I want to get into sales, because then I can just work with people all the time. That's my jam. Uh, and I'd be good at that. And then working with people all the time, I can make that become a, kind of an outlet for a while. And then to transition from there into going back to school for therapy. 
try to help people live better. Because people live like shit right now. Like everybody, people are fucking tired and angry and mad. and They're desperate. Don't know where their fucking next fucking meal is going to come from. In a lot of places. Like, it fucking blows. He would. He would throw down one more spell than run away. God damn. But yeah. No, I would do... I would do therapy. This is for the part where I actually still have to make a living. Mind you. But then you can become an independent contractor as a therapist and just have your own hours. Once you got that certificate, you just open an online office. Especially after the COVID days. My therapist wasn't even that good. I had to pay her a fuckload. Some people would call me a subject matter expert and I'd laugh at them and be like, Haha, that's a worthless term. <laughs> That shit never meant diddly to nobody. It actually does. It means a fuckload to a company. It just... It isn't the most useful uh, moniker, I suppose. The way I've seen it used, at least. Because I've seen it very distorted. Where it's like, people will be like, well, I'm a subject matter expert. And I'm like, well, I've been doing this for five years, and you're a fucking idiot. Again, cynic. It's all cynicism. At the end of the day, I just I'm just got boundless cynicism. Comes with the territory. That's good, Grim. You can if you can make it right, and you'd be one of the point zero one percent of people who don't starve doing it. And that would be great. And I would root for you. Good luck and Godspeed. I believe in very little when it comes to employment these days. Like, like I believe in very little goodness in it. Is what I mean. And not a whole lot. Uh, not a whole lot left on that fucking well. You know, why would there be? That's the other thing. Like, why why, why would there be? You know? Why, why, would, it, why would I think that there's a, a lot of chance for that, I suppose? This guy needs to stop it. He's, like, coming up in here being like, I'm gonna get you. And I'm like, no. Bad. Smack of the hand. We got the blind spell. That's nice. We'll toss this castle down. See what we can get. He, I don't think he's got a castle left either. Mana Vortex. We need him to not attack me and die. Like that. I know that sounds silly, but it's like, man, I really need you to survive over here, buddy. Because I need him to come back. Yeah, that's right. I need him to come back. I need him to come back and take his shit back. Yeah, there he goes. Because if he doesn't, he's just going to expire. I'm going to be like, well, fuck. I'd deal with people any day. P see, people to me, people are easy machines. I can deal with a person. I can deal with people. Sitting at a boardroom table that fucking makes me snore. Literally, I've like fallen asleep in meetings where it's like, Ah, yes, you are up in hour three of this three and a half hour meeting. But you have to be there in case they skip ahead a few subjects. And I'm just like, ah. Fuck me sideways.
poot at. Meetings aren't working with people. It's being talked at by people. Especially when it's people who think that they know everything. I've had a lot, a lot, a lot of meetings in my life where it was like, ah, yes, this is what we're going to do. And I'm like, you know that doesn't work, right? And they're like, nonsense. Prove it. Six months of work later. Well, I guess we're not doing this anymore. Fuck! <laughs> I don't think the enemy knows what to do. They're about to just fucking die. Ah, there they go. Like, what are they doing? <laughs> there they are. Yeah, Deemer came back. <laughs> Good old Deemer. Where, where are they getting these units from in here? That's what I want to know. Because I'm, like, trapped on two sides, and I've got more castles. Like, I'm bound to have more castles. Yeah, we'll give them that one back, so they can survive. Go ahead, PBQ. Hit that one. Hey, Fezbear. Yeah, this is we're on, we're doing the cynical Rob stream. WBPL76 presents. Uh, oh, Rob, Rob's Rob's Depresso Expresso. didn't start that way, or it wasn't supposed to start that way, but then we started talking about, like, jobs, and everybody got sad. <laughs> exactly, Rayford, exactly. My question many times. <laughs> many moons I asked this question. Many moons it went unanswered. Oh, there's more shit down here, apparently. minor goth flair to it. That's nice. Yeah, pretty much PPQ. The biggest, most expensive bridge that fits in the budget. Inflate it to the line. And especially because if you don't inflate it to the line, you won't get the same budget next year. Unless being... Unless saving money is one of your metrics. Which don't even get me started on cost cutting. But unless it's like something you're graded on, you spend every fucking penny. Because if you don't use it, you lose it. That is, uh, that doesn't just apply to your dingle dangle. More huge than any bridges. How many bridges do you think we can make here? What if we had a bridges to go over the other bridges? And that's how we get the interstate highway system. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. We got black dragons. 
So we're trying to out dragon them at this point. That is the more or less the goal. Let's be like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna out dragon you. Which requires mages guild level threes, which requires more mercury than the zero percent that I am able to produce. So we'll just do that. We are gonna beat this. It's just a matter of when. Like when when will I achieve it? Not if. Because we've already doubled their forces. We've routed them enough times. In enough different uh, locations. And now we're building we're building hordes of like tier top tier units. So I could win it. But I need to go get that dragon shield. Because it ain't going to get itself. Which means good old Dace here. Need some move in with our lady, our fair lady. Awful movie. Can't believe it won an Oscar. So he's going to run down this side of the tunnel. She's going to run down the other side of the tunnel. They're going to meet over here and pummel some ass. Everyone seems to think that I'm nice, but really I'm not nice when I'm real <laughs> when I'm just really cynical. <laughs> Why would someone pay for frozen food? Because in America, it's really hard to have the time to like cook a meal, especially if you got kids and a job. You just put it in, the dude. I made I made fucking frozen lasagna from Stouffer's uh, two days ago, like a big old fucking tray of it. You want to know why? Because I got a kid. <laughs> And I have to cook for me and him and do the other stuff around the house. And I just, my options were, well, either, like, I don't, I don't even like to cook. So it's not even like making something from scratch is that easy for me. I hate cooking, bores the fucking shit out of me. But like, you, you get the choice of what do I do with my time? And it's like, well single more or less single parent you know where it's like i'm trying to clean house watch him he freaks out if i'm not literally right there every second of every day at this point um how do you handle it how do you manage the time you just gotta when i was working it was worse you just gotta like give up some stuff you don't always have time to cook a meal especially if you're not a good cook you do not always have that time let's see if we can do better than that we're about to lose everything in here holy fuck Yeah, like, I, I can do crockpot stuff, and that's nice. But there's a lot there's a lot of things I can do, you know. There's a lot of things I can pull off. But it's still, like, the more that I can have done ahead of time, the easier my life is. And I'm not in a position to sit there and turn down easy. Because easy saves time. And all, and time is my greatest expense. 
It's hard. Trying to wail on me real good. Well, we'll blind those. Keep beating up his uh, ladies here. Killed his own two units to hit these. That was crazy. I was surprised by that one. There, he fled. Fled with a lot better situation than last time. And he got right near 10 levels with that. Let's see here. He ain't got shit. We'll beat him up real quick. So Dank Rock's all that they got left, as we've seen. Yeah, I don't know. Cooking for a lot of Americans is like just this like I don't wanna say a lot. It's stereotypical to think that it's a lot of Americans, but like really it's just a lot of overworked people in general who are like, I cannot fathom cooking or doing one more thing with my day. You know, that's what it is. They don't want to. They're it's just like I'm done. I'm done with today. I'm done with I'm done with everything that I could have to do with this day. That's what happens. Like, if you like making a home-cooked meal, if you like getting bread and jam, that's fucking great. You want to know how much it is for me to get real bread and real jam? Not fucking cheap, bro. I ain't about to go picking it. I gotta plug in my mic. That's why you heard that beep. Let me get that, so don't do it again. Oh, those boxes suck. I've gotten those. Those like ready-made meal boxes where like fresh ingredients stuff comes in like gross and brown. It's not like the cuts of meat are garbage. I used to go to a butcher in town. A real nice butcher. No, it doesn't. Frozen food's real cheap. We're incentivized. Being poor in America is real, real expensive. Because all you can afford is the cheap food. And the cheap food's really bad for you and it causes health issues. That frozen food, way cheaper. In the short run. Because you can't sit there and buy in bulk and shit. I had a butcher, I was about to say this, I had a butcher I would go to. I'd buy 40 pounds of chicken for like 80 cents a pound. That's real cheap. I had to find a place to store 40 pounds of chicken. My uh, my deep freezer broke. I can't afford a new one in the United States. It's too expensive. I don't have a way to store that meat anymore. Now I gotta buy my chicken. If I want chicken, I gotta buy it at like per pound. It's like fucking several bucks a pound. You would you would not believe how expensive it is to buy like whole fresh food here. It is disgusting. Like it is, it is a mockery. If if you're in Europe, it is you would not, you won't believe it. You will not understand. Like the supermarket, a supermarket or like a market in America is awful. Because you know that's that's just the way that the system was built up from like the 50s onward. Like here is the store for your convenience. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, real convenient it was. But bread, yeah, no, bread is expensive as fuck. Let me look. PPQ, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you this. Let me look right now. Let me look right now. If I want real bread, and I mean like real bread, not like some packaged shit, real bread. I'm not looking it up. Uh, 
almost 10 bucks a loaf. 10 USD a loaf. Where I'm living. That's for name brand. I'll say that. That's for name brand fresh bread. Generic white bread isn't even good for you, though. See, because now, now it's like you get into the splitting hairs of like what's good and what's not good and, I, and all that. You can't you can't really get stuff that's not full of chemicals and salt unless it's expensive. Like our generic white bread is filled with chemicals and salt and shit. You don't it's not like your market. You you won't I don't I mean I don't know where you are, but like you will not It's hard to explain it because you won't understand until you've seen how like fucking backward it is. Like, like, if I want white bread, I'm getting Wonder Bread or, like, Aunt Millie, and it's, like, it's just processed to hell and back. Like, uh, I wonder, wonder what's in, like, just generic white bread these days. White bread. Let's see here. Wonder Bread. That's a that's one that everybody knows. Or here, Sara Lee Artesano style white bread, twenty ounce. Twenty ounce white bread. At my local grocer. Let's see if it actually pulls up. here aunt millie's whole grain white bread 16 ounce so this is packaged and uh like um what is it preserved this is like packaged and preserved white bread it's 16 ounces 329 for a 16 ounce loaf it doesn't sound too bad obviously and aunt millie's is a regular brand in the united states uh, sugar, yeast, gluten, soybean, molasses, salt, malted barley flour, monoglycerides, calcium, propanate, you know, a preservative. It's preserved. It's just carb loaf. Exactly, it's carb loaf. It's bread. So this is, this is, this is bread. This is, this is 16 ounce, almost, one, after taxes, closer to four bucks. This is the bread. It's it's literally it's right on there. It's preservative. And it's got soybean filler. Yep. We we there's no power there's no purchasing power here that can stop the brands anymore.
Well, because it, it's also got whole grain wheat in it. It's just a filler. I know what bread looks like. Like, my mom would make bread. You know, we had to have a bread maker because you can't have a whole fuck-ass oven for that shit. You can't have, like, an old-world oven for it, but, you know. People people think that it's like, oh, man, there's so much indulgence in America and so much this and that. It's like, no, people, like, literally can't get healthy food. <laughs> like, it is nearly impossible. That's why a lot of Americans are fat and obese and shit, too. Because we eat like garbage. But most of what we're offered is garbage. We got a, we got Armageddon from all that. Nice. Get that level 5 guild. She got Dimension Door. Holy shit. We might be able to cheese some stuff with Dimension Door. Because she does have that expert wisdom. We might be able to do some cheese. Yeah, no. What you're talking about with, like, it should be cheaper PBQ? I mean, like, you, we don't... You can't usually have, like, a real, like, stone oven in your house. It's against a lot of building codes and shit. Um, and that shit's just expensive. You can, of course, get, like, electric and stuff like that. If you have the time and patience to go buy the yeast and the flour and blah, 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 and let it rise and, you know. Then it comes back around to, like, well... Does X person have time for this? And it's a yes or no question. You know, it's like, does that person, can that person afford to do that? Yes or no? Like old bread ovens and stuff. Because, like, if you're going to make something, you'd prefer to have it, assumedly, be, like, good, like, very, uh, authentic. It's really hard to do that. Yeah, my mom had a bread maker, though. That was decent enough. She would make good bread in that. Little mixer, and then it would rise in there. Took her a long time. Every time she made it, it took her a long time. For real, it is for people with huge amounts of uh, money. Yeah, I've got a regular stove. Can I get through here? Ah, it blocks me. Damn it. They filled it with just enough shit that I can't get back there. Oh yeah, you can pay for exclusivity. You can play you can pay for exclusivity deals here as well, that's true. Make them go away. Yeah, Dragon Scale Shield. So this will be good for us because we can carry it in the next level. And now she's got several spells. Well, like, I'll send her to one more place to get, like, a handful of spells. Like, she already got Tier 5 from there. She got Tier 5 from there. Then she's going to get... She can get the 5th tier from here if it's any good. Yeah, man, I ain't trying to kick a hornet's nest or be, like, crazy or nothing, but... Yeah, it's it's pretty. It can be. It, the, my point simply is that it can be really hard to like cook every day in the U.S. when you're working eight nine hours a day, and you've got kids to watch, or like a kid to watch, especially if they're young and they don't want to be alone, or you can't leave them alone, or you like every time you turn your back, they're climbing up on some shit because Liam's a climber. 
and his daycare is like fucking I get two days I get two days of daycare and I have to pay like 250 bucks for him to be gone two days a week just two days a week that's a lot of money that's not even all week that's why when they say it takes a village yeah it fucking did and now ain't nobody ain't nobody got a village no more you get what you get that's about it He's two. He'll throw, he throws, like, he'll just throw the controller. He'll break it. It's not, that is not yet an appropriate, uh, interactive entertainment medium for him, unfortunately. Boy, howdy do I wish. There are ways around stuff. It just it's easy to feel trapped. It can be very very easy to feel trapped. Cuz your battery just runs low. Like man, it just you get fucking tired. Get tired, you get tired of fighting it. Digi. Nah, you're talking my language, Digi. Hey, Kai. We are, PPQ. We are. Like, you're from, you're assumedly from Europe. It's incredibly different. Like, you would not believe how different it is. I spent time in Montreal, it's different. I spent time in Mexico, it's different. I spent time just in the South, it's different. From the Midwest. The Midwest is a very go, 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 work, go, go, work world. And everyone is every man for themselves a lot of the time. It is what it is. It is what it do. We're going to beat this guy up for realsies, though. Blop. Now we're going to do the last fight in here. Yeah, no, it, it doesn't make any sense. I agree, PPQ. I sit there and think that every day. I'm like, it makes no goddamn sense. You're, you're absolutely right. Like, I agree. I 100% agree. And that's why I'm looking at you and being like, it's crazy, isn't it? Because that's exactly how it is. And like, every, there are people in the, I'm not alone. Like, people in the comments are like, mm-hmm. Like, it's fucking nuts. It's, it, it is insane. It really is. I get it. It's it it seems like it seems preposterous. Just like all the all the waste. All this waste. Constant just wastefulness. It is fucking bonkers. Just like I'm about to waste this asshole and win this match. Got him. And all this shit too. Tan has been vanquished. I win. Say good things about me, lady. Let's see here. We can get a labyrinth, purse of gold, or one dragon. Find the vial of dragon blood before Old Walter lose the race. Also, losing the hero Mutare means her instant destruction. Mutare and two of her best heroes will be transferred to the next scenario without level limitations. So we can upgrade infinitely. And take two heroes with us. We're gonna start with this because it's labyrinth expensive. I have found Warwald. 
he is close to the vial, but his conservative actions and slow thinking leaves the way open for me to surpass him. As much as I must worry about Orwald, I must consider the vial. Once I have passed him, there is the vial, and no doubt it will have guardians. Dragon guardians. I always thought I would be a powerful noble one day, taking Rorik's lands was only the first step, but I thought it wouldn't be possible till I was old, like 26 or 27. <laughs> Fuck this lady. The vial changes all my calculations. Whoever transforms into the dragon will be able to muscle into the highest ranks of Naya nobility. General Maya will take command of the troops in my old staging area and new castles near the access to the deep caverns. He should be able to make things tough on any lords trying to follow me by raiding them, killing their scouts, laying false trails, and stopping any overly bored lords. Meanwhile, I'll take a small force and set up a camp in the deep caverns near where my scouts saw some of Ordwall's troops. A small force should be able to slip in without being noticed by anyone. So we have her again. We do get the shield, and we, all we've got is a little group of troglodytes to start. But I think with it being 1 o'clock, that's where I'm going to end today. Because I've done that mission, and uh, quite frankly, I need to use the bathroom. Um, so we're just going to, we're going to call it for now, for there. Um, yeah, simply because I want to go, I want to go eat some lunch. And I want to, I got, I, pff, we were just talking about it, I got, I got a house to clean. I got stuff to clean, I got laundry to do, I got to, I'm actually going to make food because I don't have him to make as a daycare day, so I got to make, I got to make food for like, let's see here, I got to make food for Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday, yeah, I got to do the next three days, now I'm thinking about it, yeah, no, I'm sorry, PPQ. I am very sorry. You can, you can talk to me about it. I'll come hang out in the Ox if you want to, like, talk about that shit. Like, no problem. I don't mind. Shit get crazy, yo. Shit be crazy. Game, game fuck. Yeah, Kai, I felt that. I felt that in my soul, in my soul when she's like, I thought I'd be old, like, 26 or 27. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. I want to go drink PPQ, then have one for me, baby. That's good. Have one for me. Um, yeah. Tonight you'll have your normal stuff. You'll have, like, uh, I believe you'll have Crow. Aloe might make an appearance. And I think you'll have Para as well. There's, like, a... There's, like, a, a few things going down that you should be able to enjoy. So, yeah. Everybody, thank you for coming out to Existential Crisis Time with Cocaine and Rob. <laughs> what? <Well>, oops. <laughs> this this became the heavy stream. Um. Anyway, everybody, have a good day and a good night. Cheers and all that. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>